Hello, YouTube universe. Scroll bait media here. The governor of California, Galvin Newsom, has ordered another curfew for California in the spike of the coronavirus. So the hours are from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. First he said two weeks, and now he's saying four weeks. And I don't buy this shit. He's full of shit. He's going to drag this out until Biden is officially certified. This has to do with politics. This has to do with spike the, the spike. I think these are lies. I'm not telling why they're lies. So, according to what I've heard, somebody in my work, his daughter has a friend who she ends herself. So she goes to the hospital and, you know, she gets herself, you know, fixed up and all stuff. And what happened was that they said that she tested positive for COVID. And later find out that girl who went to the hospital found that the hospital lied that she had COVID, which she never had it. So what happened was that she got tested somewhere else and say that she tested negative. And she came back to the hospital and said, why did you t say I tested for COVID? And then later on, she said, I tested someone else and I tested negative. And later on, she found out that the hospital was lying just to collect money. According to what I've heard, um, I don't have all the details, but according to what I heard, that hospitals get a special funding when patients test positive for COVID. So this whole shit's a scam. And that's why these numbers are so high. This is all bullshit. So now all business getting all fucked up again. I mean, they can't pay their bills. So they might end up closing again because of fucking politics. I mean, this is all about the election until Joe Biden actually is officially inaugurated and officially certified. And you fucking retards who actually believe the fucking media that Biden is officially the president-elect, which he's not. This is bullshit, okay? So this whole thing about fucking COVID spiking has to do with this, okay? It's bullshit. But that piece of shit, poor excuse for a governor, well, fuck. He's poor excuse for a human being. Galvin Newsom put another fucking curfew on for another fucking four weeks because he's a real piece of shit. Anyways, I got some footage from Fox Local News. Play the video. Now, this is the Fox 11 News at 10. It is 10 o'clock starting right now. Non-essential businesses must close. New orders take effect in L.A. County, all ahead of a statewide soft curfew. And the county on the cusp of another safer at home order. What could trigger that shutdown? Good evening. I'm Christine Devine. I'm Alex Michelson. Ed Lascos joins us live from Studio City with the businesses forced to shut down from now until tomorrow morning. Ed. Well, that is the plan at this point. The L.A. County curfew in effect right now. But check out this one restaurant here in Studio City. You might say, looking at that, what curfew, huh? Look at all the diners still outside at the tables on the sidewalk. And even off to the right, Kevin will give you a look. Still inside, covered by that plastic area. The county wanted these people, the diners, to be sent home. Top of the hour, 10 o'clock sharp. No more food served to control the crowds, to control the gathering like this. But some of the restaurants say they won't kick anybody out. And other of the restaurants say, well, they'll wait until the county catches up with them. You bet. Emotions running high on all of this. Listen. Studio City on the first night of the L.A. County curfew. What's it going to do at 10 o'clock that's so supernatural that you got to shut me down from 10 o'clock until 5 o'clock? So it doesn't make any sense? That doesn't make any sense at all. They say 10 o'clock, you got to I mean, leave. I'm okay because it's for the greater good, but I'm not okay when they don't pay their rent. Emotions running as high as the surge of the virus itself. Well, I'm really not very happy that they're, you know, again throwing the restaurants under the bus for this COVID-19 thing but you know we will abide by the curfew. She is one of the owners of the Mexicali restaurant that's already spent thousands of dollars to move their dining room outdoors with this big tent. All these heaters and TVs now the curfew will have them moving their diners out at 10 p.m. every night. We'll basically tell them we can't serve them any more stuff and we'll try to get them to you know 
kind of move along, but we're not going to kick anybody out at 10 o'clock. So at 10, they're not going to be pushed out the door. They're not going to be pushed out the door at 10 o'clock. That, as the curfew targets all the county's restaurants, especially those in the areas known for their busy nightlife, from here along Ventura Boulevard in Studio City to West Hollywood's famed Santa Monica Boulevard, leaving late night diners facing an early last call. We always go after 10. It's kind of strange, but you know, we all have to adjust. It doesn't severely affect me, but I do understand why it's in place. So, with that being said, yeah, I think it's a good idea for now, especially with the holidays upon us. We know how people are going to get, to get together. Now live, three minutes past the hour, three minutes after this curfew started. They're still gathering here. No sign of pushing anybody away at this restaurant in Studio City. You know, with this curfew, restaurants can still stay open for deliveries and pickups. But in terms of serving indoors or outdoors, particularly on the sidewalks, in person is what I'm trying to say. It's supposed to stop right at 10 o'clock sharp as the curfew begins in L.A. County. How supposedly we'll find out a way, Alex and Christine, how to enforce all of this. Back to you. Ed, I heard from some restaurants that they are, want you to pay your bill by 10 o'clock, but you can still stay there for another hour. They're going to stop serving food at that time. Are you hearing something similar to that? You know, I've heard many of those stories. It depends on which restaurant you, you go to. They'll say no more food, no more drinks, but as long as you pay your bill, you can stay there as long as you want. We're not, I heard one thing that's across the board. We're not going to kick anybody out. We're not going to kick anybody off the property. But again, as you know, that's that's really against what the county health department wanted when they came down with this order, this, this curfew, if you will. A, a curfew without a lot of enforcement mechanisms. Ed Laskos, mm -hmm. thank you so much. All right, we're back. So you, you see what's going on here? You see what's going on? I mean, this is bullshit, okay? Restaurant owners and just owners of businesses do not want to close their businesses, okay? What they're doing is, you know what? You can't order food at a certain time anymore by 10 o'clock. They're saying that they last stopped cooking around orders around 9.30 because they have to cook it they maybe 10, 15 minutes to make the food and they eat. But after that, you have to pay at 10 o'clock, but you can stay outside. They, they can stay outside. And they're saying they, um, companies actually just serve you with styrofoam plates or plastic utensils. So they have outside trash cans and just, maybe they'll just close the business at 10. And from there on, these customers are held responsible for themselves after 10 o'clock, which is kind of smart using paper plates or styrofoam plates or styrofoam cups and everything or plastic cups. Even plastic utensils. So they can't be held accountable anymore. So that would be a lot smarter. Because I've gone to restaurants where they they actually use paper cups and plastic cups and with styrofoam. That's a smart move. But you know what? Some of these business owners want to give the middle finger to Galvin Newsom. And I don't blame them. If I was a business owner, I'd do the same shit. I'd tell him to go fuck himself too. He's a piece of shit. And you people are so fucking stupid. You buy into this shit. I don't fucking get it. How fucking dumb are you people? Anyways, let's stop the video. Thank you, YouTubers, for listening. Comment whatever you want to say about this whole curfew thing. Me, personally, I think it's fucking bullshit.